Hi, this is Dr. Mark Hyman. Imagine eating 12 pounds of food a day and still staying thin and healthy. Sound crazy, right? Well, that's exactly what our hunter-gatherer ancestors ate for millennia. And they didn't have any obesity, chronic diseases like heart disease or diabetes or cancer or dementia. And of course, I wouldn't advise anyone today to eat 12 pounds of food because the food in our society lacks one major secret ingredient that all our ancestors ate in nearly all their food, fiber. Fiber has so many health benefits that I've made an entire focus of this week's blog. But before I tell you about what fiber can do for you, let's look at a little more at the history of fiber. Dr. Dennis Burkett, a famous English physician, studied the differences between indigenous African Bushmen and their civilized Western counterparts. The Bushmen seemed to be free of all the scourges of modern life, like cancer and heart disease and diabetes and obesity. You see, Dr. Burkett found that the average Bushman had a stool weight of two pounds, and the civilized men had a stool weight of only four ounces. That's 87.5% smaller. The difference, in one word, it's fiber. Today, the average American eats about just eight grams of fiber. The average hunter-gatherer ate about 100 grams of fiber in all manner of roots and berries and leaves and plant foods. And the fiber is what helped those ancestors of ours stay healthy. Just take a look at all the good things that fiber can do for your body. First, you need fiber to keep you healthy from top to bottom, as well as to provide food for the healthy bacteria that work within you to promote health. But how can fiber actually prevent obesity and all the chronic diseases of aging? Well, it's actually quite simple. Fiber slows the rate at which the food enters your bloodstream and increases the speed at which food exits your body through the digestive tract. And that keeps your blood sugar and cholesterol in ideal balance and quickly eliminates toxins from your gut and reduces your appetite. Now, there's good science to back this up. Research shows that fiber can lower blood sugar as potently as some diabetes medications, can lower cholesterol and promote weight loss. It's clear. Fiber is a great ally in the battle of the bulge, but it's also a hero in more serious battles. For example, one recent study showed how the gut bacteria make butyrate from eating fiber, and then they switch on an anti-cancer gene, which turns off colon cancer. In fact, fiber has been shown to reduce the risk of colon cancer by as much as a third, and breast cancer by almost 40%. It also lowers cholesterol and reduces the risk of heart disease by as much as 40%. If you have diabetes, adding fiber to your diet may even help you use less insulin. Plus, it's a great natural cure for constipation and irregularity. So, how much fiber do you need to reap all these benefits? Well, you should shoot for 30 to 50 grams a day. And the type of fiber is important too. Most people think that bran is the best type of fiber to eat. But bran, or wheat fiber, is mostly insoluble and doesn't get digested. You see, think of it as more of a scouring pad for your intestines. That's good for getting you regular, but it's also something that can help tremendously with your health. You'll find soluble fiber in vegetables, fruit, beans, nuts, seeds, and most whole grains. The bacteria in your gut metabolize the soluble fiber, and that's when the benefits start. Soluble fiber can help lower cholesterol, your blood sugar and insulin, prevent cancer, balances your hormones, removes excess estrogen and reduces the risk of breast cancer. It makes vitamins and minerals. It provides food for the colon cells and much more. Wow, now you can see how crucial fiber is to your health. But in just a minute, I'm gonna tell you how you can increase your fiber intake. But first, I wanna tell you about some recent discoveries about an ancient fiber source that can help you lose weight, lower cholesterol, reduce your appetite, lower your blood sugar more effectively than any other fiber. I call it a super fiber. It's called glucomannan, or GM. It's a soluble, fermentable, and highly viscous dietary fiber that comes from the root of the elephant yam, also known as cognac, native to Asia. Indigenous to Asia, the cognac tuber has been used for centuries as an herbal remedy to make traditional foods, also cognac jelly, tofu, and noodles. More recently, the purified cognac flour, or GM, has been used as a food stabilizer and so forth. What makes this fiber so super? Well, it can absorb up to 50 times its weight in water, making it one of the most viscous dietary fibers known. And that means that GM can help you shed pounds. In many studies, doses of 2 to 4 grams of GM per day were really well tolerated and even better 
that resulted in significant weight loss in overweight and obese individuals. First, how does this work? Well, it works by promoting a sense of fullness, and it pushes more calories out through your colon rather than letting them be absorbed. It also lowers the energy density of the food you eat. In other words, it bulks up the food in your gut, creating a lower calorie content per weight of food you eat. And since fiber has almost no calories but a lot of weight, adding it to your diet lowers the energy to weight ratio of the food that you eat. Studies show that the weight of the food controls your appetite, so the fiber increases the food's weight without increasing calories. The powerful fiber may also control your appetite in many other key ways. For example, it can signal to the brain there's a lot of food down there and it'll make you eat more slowly and slow down the stuffing of food in there from your plate. It also leaves your stomach and small bowel slowly because it's so viscous. And by slowing the rate of food absorption from the gut to the bloodstream, it reduces the amount of insulin produced after a meal, which also controls your appetite. It also may increase the level of hormones in the gut, such as CCK, which controls appetite in another way. And finally, you lose more calories through the stool because GM soaks up all those calories. And GM can also help your health in other ways. In addition to weight reduction, it's been studied for its effects on constipation, cholesterol, blood sugar, blood pressure, and insulin resistance. With all those benefits, there's no doubt you should eat more fiber. Now, you probably won't be eating 12 pounds like your ancestors, but you can increase your fiber intake by just being smart about what you eat. So here's a few simple suggestions for getting more fiber. One, eat flax. Two, load up on the legumes and beans. Three, bulk up on vegetables. Four, eat lots of whole grains. Five, eat more fruit. Six, have more nuts. Seven, start slowly because you don't want to overload your gut with too much fiber if you're not used to it. Eight, consider a good fiber supplement. And nine, consider trying some GM. So as you can see, fiber has big benefits for your health from encouraging weight loss to preventing chronic diseases. I hope you'll start adding more of this important compound into your diet today. Thank you.